Are you ready to make this cute little nurse's dress for all your get well cards with the dressed up framelits? Let's get started. You're going to need your big shot and because we're using framelits we want it set at tab 2. I've noticed lately that I'm not getting enough tension in my big shot so I've actually added a couple pieces of cardstock under there to give a little more tension when I'm cutting my framelits. I'm using Riding Hood Red and my all dressed up framelit with the, the little um, dress form. You want to make sure that your rough edge is facing down on your cardstock. And then we'll just run that through the Big Shot. Next up is the dress with the sleeve. I'm uh, going to cut this dress with the Storytime designer paper. We'll run that through the Big Shot the same way on tab 2. And then our sleeveless dress, we're going to actually use this as our apron, so we're going to run that through with the Baja Breeze, same way. To make it look a little more realistic, we're going to use some embossing folders. Sort of funny because I'm going to do this dress form with my Argyle embossing folder, which you tend to think of as a masculine folder, but for, in this case it's going to do the dress. It just looks pretty with the little diamonds. And we're going to want to run that through on tab 1. And you can see what I mean with the little diamonds, how they give just a little bit of texture. For our apron, we're going to use the Perfect Polka Dots embossing folder, and we're going to just run that through on tab 1. Awesome. I must admit, this is reminiscent of playing dolls when I was a girl, but now I'm a woman and I still like to play with them. So I'm going to add my Storytime dress to my dress form, and that would be the same as you would usually do. I love being able to decorate all these little dresses um, with different designer paper. So we have our little piece that we're going to use for the apron, which is our Baja Breeze embossed with the perfect polka dots. You can see if you put it on just like that, that it's going to cover up most of the dress. So that's where we need to go to work. First, we're going to take our Ticket Builder Punch. And we're just going to cut a little bit. You want to try to center it from here. I'm going to cut it in half right at the waist and just cut just a little bit out because we don't need much. Just a teeny bit. Woohoo! This is so fun. Now we want to we'll add our top piece you want to put those right up on the shoulders and you can see how her dress sticks out and then we want to add the bottom piece so you can see that she does have some of her dress hanging there and we're ready to add a little ribbon because we want to cover up this area right here so I have some eighth inch ribbon. We don't want to make her waist look huge with a great big ribbon. This is the very vanilla, I believe. And just tuck that over and behind. And she's looking good, but we want to put a little red cross on her. This is from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. We'll use some Riding Hood Red. It's the little cross from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. These things pop everywhere. And a little glue dot should do the trick for that. Wowzers! There is our little lady. We're ready to add her to our card. Isn't she just so cute? And now we just want to add her to our card front so we can just put some Stampin' Dimensions on the back, sort of pop her up, give her a little dimension, and place her on our card. And that's another way that you can transform your dressed up framelits into something new.